I'm sorry guys, couldn't find a Pion Pion mask around me. It would have been funny to react with a Pion Pion mask, but I think it's way too hot. God damn, there's a heat wave over here. Is Pion gonna be a repeating character? I hope he shows around. Like, he's not some kind of Joe character that's just one episode and done, right? Let's begin today's reaction though. Hey, it's the girl that we're gonna kiss, right? <laughs> what, 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 what? Why? I, I, I thought we had a good thing going, you know? She was like, thing to Aqua. Oh, you know, you might be worth kissing. <laughs> so it... <laughs> yeah, no, I shouldn't be laughing. Like, if you put your personal life out there, there's no privacy. Damn. Ignore them! You got Aqua, but I don't think Aqua actually cares. The YouTuber, right? <laughs> hey, come on! I'm not that dumb! She's admitting it too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Why? Nobu, what? what? Is Nobu just saying it because he's a good friend? And this is like camaraderie? Or does he got some ulterior motives? What? Wait, no, this is all fake! No! <laughs> this is fake, right? Oh my god. I got fake. I, I can't believe I started feeling sorry for her. No, dummy. That was just a script. <laughs> oh god. Ruthless businesswoman. Hey. Akun? We got a nickname now? <laughs> Akko is Akun? <gasps> really, Misan? Yeah, come on now. You're making the most money out of anyone here. Come on now. What is that? Are those horns real? They're, they're not real, right? But... She has an 80-20 contract? Dude, she's getting ripped up. I feel bad for that girl, man. Thanks. This girl right here. I... I want some W's for her too, man. <laughs> Aku, you could be a little bit kinder, man. I grow my own me, bitch. Leave me alone. <laughs> we didn't get much screen time of her last episode, but so far, like, we've gotten more and... Seems like a really nice girl, just in a shitty position. She's always taking notes too, yeah. <laughs> Are you jealous, Brocon? <laughs> we told those cuties to fuck off, we grill our own meat, but yeah, sure. Look of satisfaction? Do you see- Oh, there! No, no, no! There it is! Huh? Oh, he's more worried- He's more concerned about the fucking diet, not about the girls. That's some boomer shit. <laughs> but it's true. You, you gotta limit your red meat consumption, guys, as you get older. Look at her t-shirt. Twins. Oh, wait, there's a star there, too. I just realized, just like their eyes. This girl, man. That's she's the most, like... Like, there's so much pity thrown at her, right? Because she's always so apologetic. It looks like she's just in a terrible position. Firework episode. This must be the summer festival arc, right? <laughs> oh? Hold up? What's, what's going on there? Oh no! Kango's getting cooked! Terrible. Boy, I thought she was saying Akko was the guy for her. The seductress. She's kind of hard carrying the show though. And yeah, she's kind of chilling too. Hmm. <laughs> the one that wins at the end is her, man. I'm telling you, everyone else, like... <laughs> it, it, like, they, they're doing well, but like, she's got the game figured out. Huh? She's still taking notes. At this time of the... She is really earnest. Some kind of practice? Right? Like, deepening her range, I think. <laughs> A lot of practice. Damn. You can, this is the kind of character you want to root for, that you want to cheer on, but like... Look. Look, man. She's just gonna keep taking L's, isn't she? No matter- like, she's the one that strives the hardest. Puts in the most time. But like... 
Feel bad for the fucking manager. He seems like a kind person, man. <laughs> you know, there's some truth what this guy is saying. Trying doesn't pay the bills, but you don't have to yell. <sighs> man, can she get some W's? Like, this is so sad. And she's trying so hard. There might be some truth to that. Spineless, huh? But like, if her persona just doesn't match what the audience wants, it's like, what more could you do? You can't fake it. People can tell when you're lying. <laughs> yeah, shit talk to product. <laughs> shit talk to product. What do you mean? Yeah. It might go viral. <laughs> Ego surfing? Cute! <laughs> Dude! Just like mom. Mom was ego surfing too in episode 1. But I don't think even mom said I is cute. <laughs> Making TikToks? <laughs> TikTok! <laughs> Smart. Yeah, TikTok monetizing. That's crazy that they're. This meta commentary on like how shitty TikTok monetization is is insane. Like you can get millions and millions of views on TikTok. It doesn't get you anything. It's ass. It's more of like marketing and like getting your name out there. Oh, she's going for the camera. Huh? A wedge has been thrown. The love triangle might become a fucking rectangle. <laughs> oh, be kinder to oh, These comments are so mean, man. Yo, I'm rooting for her! They're so mean! This is some great advice, though. But, like, with the stage set with this triangle, what are you suggesting? It'll actually probably work, but. This might backfire. I don't, I don't know. I hope it goes well, but this might backfire. Is she gonna say, like, don't fuck with me? I don't know. It's, it's pretty, like, kind and nor normal right now, right? I hope she's supportive. Please, please, someone help her out. Will she? I mean, it's fair, right? You can compete, but she also has to stand out, right? It's just nature of competition. At least she's being a good sport about it. I thought she might, like, start getting one of those, like, you know, scissor things and start threatening her. It's like... Don't fuck with me, bitch. I'll cut you. No! <laughs> She's ego surfing, but there's nothing about her! Kinda like me. Oh, the other guy too? But this is the guy that's getting cucked, right? Can't, don't. C c you're in the middle of a. C come on, man. Go get a bigger Labrador. Come, don't back down! Grab him right now! Yeah, 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 come on! Grab him! Oh, shit. Oh. oh! Nail broke? She's showing her. Wait, did she get cut? What happened? Oh, she actually got cut. That's what. No, the camera was. Don't cut it now, you're insane! I mean, you probably shit. There's like injury, but like I feel like this is some prime shit that was happening. But I kind of might have fucked up there. That no, it's not. It's no, no, no. It's not like that. It's not like that. I don't think she. Not, I don't think she minds. Damn. She's actually so good. She's being such a good sport about it. She's actually being so kind. I don't know if it's kind of poetic that the nail that cut her was the one that she put on her, right? No, she's just trying her best. She is. Not like that. <laughs> not, not like that. <laughs> Imagine they're actually filming this right now, and then we go to a Yuri route. Yo, cameraman, are you filming this? This is some prime shit! Yo, you could literally just change the trajectory of this show and be like, Oh shit, we got some Yuri going on. Oh no. Oh no. Oh sh- Oh, this is actually blowing up in her face. Oh, oh no, she's trying her best and now everyone's gonna shit on her? She's gonna actually get death threats, isn't she? No, put the phone down. Put the phone down. Put the phone down. Honestly, if you apologize in situations like there is a moment to apologize, but like 
the more you show that you're vulnerable and that you're apologetic, other people will smell the blood in the water. They're like sharks. Which is kind of fucked up for me to say, but if you ever have like a public fuck up and you're like a media, media celebrity or something, you'll notice that the people that don't really apologize and continue to make content and push forward, they'll rebound. But the people, exactly. If you fuck up and you admit it, dude, blood is in the water. People will drag you down. Handling, you know, your online presence in controversies like that, you can't have like a kind attitude you can't expect other people to give you the benefit of the doubt you can't expect other people to be charitable no they're gonna be the most hostile people are just looking for a reason to hate and if you apologize it's fucking gg man never reply to those comments don't reply to them like i understand the show's trying to show the realistic you know aspect of entertainment but and, and this is quite realistic i'd say but like you can't have a happy ending sleep. Dude, she was just trying so hard. Oh. You're the bitch! I don't think she's ever gave off that kind of air. She's in the fucking toilet listening to this shit. <laughs> At least, you know, we got mom. You know, mom's still here for us. Yeah, mom. Everybody's sending us death threats. They want us to die. But she won't tell her. She, she can't burden her with that. No, you got to shit on the mom, dude. That's too far. Dude, when you get, like, other people in your life involved in the hate... Yeah. Do not acknowledge it. Literally just block. Just go on vacation. That's all you have to do. Fucking put the phone down, go on vacation. And then come back and make good content. That's all that matters. But the more you fucking try to cover this shit up, the more you try to reply, and apologize, try to get the public's, you know, grace back. Nah, that's never going to happen. Please no bad route with this. Please no bad route with this. She's not going to commit suicide, right? And some people will say this is the price of fame. When you put yourself out there, this is to be expected. So just deal with it. What a fucking bullshit logic and argument. Why does it have to be like that? I understand that's how society is. It doesn't make it right. I don't like this. I said no suicide. Why is it all rainy outside? No, 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 no. She's going towards a bridge. No, no, no. Are you serious? And you know what the fucked up thing is? If she actually commits suicide now, you know what the public's gonna be like? Oh my gosh, she was gone so soon. They're gonna be so apologetic. I wish she was still here. That's the same fucking people that's hating right now. Stop, stop, stop. Can Aqua like show up and save her? Dude, this is going the bad route. This is actually going down the nightmare route. Aqua, please, anybody? I don't... Is it that kind of show where somebody can save her? I know you guys said that this is like a realistic, dark, you know, aspect of Entertainment District, but... Come on! Don't, don't... Are you... Oh! Oh! She... Oh, she's... Oh, thank fucking God. Who, though? Aqua? Aqua! How did he know? Oh, look at his eye, dude. Look at his eye. How did he know? Episode 1 was pretty dark, and I thought this shit was so bad it can't get any worse, right? And you guys said in the comment section, he doesn't know. He doesn't know it's gonna get worse. Bro, and then for four episodes, it was kind of chill, slice of life, everything. It's just ha ha ha, high school setting. Boom, we're gonna go into suicide. This shit was dark. I'm so glad Aqua saved her. I really thought that this show was gonna be like, nah, fuck you. She's gonna jump off this bridge. We're gonna show you that no one can save her. And this is what happens in real life. Because again, this is the realistic dark depiction of what people that work in the entertainment industry is like. I'm so glad Aqua saved her. How did he know though? Was he like keeping check on her? Like maybe for the sake of, I don't know, for controversy and drama to like implode, like prevent that from imploding? Because you know, if an actress like this died because of all the comments, something bad might happen. I don't really know. I'm just glad that he saved her. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video and check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.